Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be taking care of some much needed garden chores. Let the garden chores begin. <laughs> <laughs> guys so as the season begins to progress i am going to be trying to create some healthy habits for this backyard garden and i'm going to start off this garden chore list by cleaning my garden tools that i used the previous season because as it begins to progress as the season progresses i'm going to be using these tools so i need to make sure i'm using clean tools and not spreading any disease that may have been on these tools from the prior year i'm just going to use some water and some dawn dishwashing liquid to do that so let's go ahead and get this bucket filled up another thing that i am going to try to not do this season is throw my watering <laughs> nozzles on the ground ground because after i finish watering my plants or anything i literally just throw it on the ground and that literally always breaks the nozzle so i am really going to try to at least just set it on the ground not throw it on the ground because <laughs> i consistently buy these nozzles this is one by orbit i tend to kind of stick with orbit because i like their um tools they typically last if you don't throw them on the ground but yeah that's one of the things that i'm gonna do so i'll see you guys as we go ahead and work on the next garden chore some good suds going here bam all right Let's roll this back up. Turn the water off. All right. All right, so the next chore on the list, I have my handy dandy chore list so I can stay on task. The next thing, let me go ahead and scratch this off, clean garden tools. The next thing that I'm going to do is just go around the garden and pick up any debris. When I'm out here working and I'm opening these bags, I'm kind of just throwing stuff everywhere. So I have to remember to put it in the trash. I have a debris bag. This is one of my favorite garden uh, utensils, tools, whatever that I use out here. But I'm just going to go through here and just pick up debris that is in the garden. Literally, um, this is from a bag. And this is something that I really need to stay on top of is getting a lot of this debris out of the yard because it really doesn't help with the appearance of the yard. Leave a comment down below if you're like me and you just rip these bags and just throw the trash and have to come out and pick trash up the next day. Let me know because that is one of my bad habits in the garden is just when I get tired, I literally just leave things where they are and I go back in the house. So I'm literally just <laughs> walking around picking up all the trash. I think from my the naked eye i think i may have picked up all the trash out of the garden <laughs> okay i don't think i didn't have that much trash i'm proud of myself for that i'm just kind of glancing around okay on to the next task all right so i did go ahead and purchase my stakes for this peach tree i did cover this peach tree with the bird netting so that they wouldn't <laughs> eat all of my peaches but it was a um a con to using this netting as you can see the pressure from it just leaning on the limbs has bent the limbs so i'm going to go ahead and take this off right quick put the stakes in so that it won't be leaning on our limbs and let's hope i didn't tie this knot too good and that it'll come off easily I want to take a look at the health of the peaches because some of them don't look good. I may not even get any peaches from me taking this on and off. I believe if you're going to use the netting, you have to take it off every so often because the peaches don't look too good. If you can come in, let's take a look at the peaches. yeah let's zoom in on some of these these are the ones that were kind of affected over here that were affected by the netting let's check check these out yeah 
But as you can see, look, these limbs were standing straight up, but now they're leaning because of the netting. So right now, I'm just gonna go ahead and get the stakes in here for now. <clears throat> and I bought three of these. I believe I purchased these at Lowe's and they were like $6 a steak. They are pretty sturdy. I believe they're made of plastic. Let me get the watering can because I'm going to go ahead and get that water because that tree looks pretty thirsty. What's up, Fido? What's going on, bud? Hey, buddy. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get this tree watered. So I'll put the netting back on this tree a little later. I'm going to just let it get a little bit of natural sun without the net and just water it in. I don't need to water this in too much because it's going to rain for the next three days. So I used about one third of this two gallon can. But on to the next task. Alrighty, so I did go ahead and buy a bird bath from Lowe's. So what I need to do is get it moved here. I want it to be kind of in the center. That way I can do my bird watching. So I'm going to go ahead and get this moved over on top of my berm garden bed. Eventually this is going to be the home for it. But this berm garden bed is going to take six months for the cardboard and everything to compost and break down. So I'm just going to set it on top for now which should be fine. I'm going to ask JJ if he could come and help me. He's right here. <laughs> so. Pour the water on. Uh, it weigh less. It doesn't weigh that much. Come on. One, two, and three. Let's You'd just set surprised. this on the ground. Oh, buddy. All right. Do you need some help with this? What do I need to do? Not really. What do you want to spin? I want to sit it right here in the middle. On top of the mulch? Or on top of the mulch, yeah. I think it'll be fine. I don't think it's going to affect the composting with the cardboard. Where? It's kind of right here. Now, the only thing I need it to be is leveled. That is it. So that when the wind comes and blows, <coughs> it doesn't knock it over. I know that it's concrete. Put some mulch on one side. Put some mulch over here. Ooh. I don't want to touch. Let me get my gloves. I don't want to get a splinter. Better be careful. Is it level? No. I'm going to use my rose gloves because they're supposed to be puncture proof. And I do not want to get. Seems with discipline. I don't want it to be wobbly at all. It's going to be wobbly since it's on mulch. See, it's leaning back. So let's put some mulch under there. I just want it to be stable. Just a little bit. Okay, that's, that's better. Much better. Okay. Does it look like it's <laughs> leveled? I should, should I get the leveling? I'm being a little too extra. I mean, you can just put the top on to see if it's lovely or not to make it easier. Okay, come on. Ready? You want to pour the water in one of these flowers? Mm -hmm. Okay, one, two, and three. Okay. All right, let's take this over here. Is it on there? Yeah. Uh, it's not in the middle though, Jay. It doesn't look like it's in the middle right here. What about now? No. No? Okay, I just pulled it over a little bit. How does it look? You want it to be completely flat level? Or? I mean, it doesn't have to be 100%, but you know. I just don't want it to be just completely wobbly to where a strong wind comes through and knocks it down. 
I mean, I do take into account that it is concrete, but it's not on a stable base per se. Okay, what do you think about that? Come test it out. What do you think? You think a strong wind will knock it over? Come kind of just touch it. <laughs> think a strong wind will knock that over? No? Okay. Unless it's extremely strong. Then okay. No. Okay. Well, we are good. So let's put a little bit more water back in there so the birds can have their bird bath. All right. So my goal, one of my goals this year is doing projects. I'm going to have several projects that I'm going to be doing throughout the season. And one of them is just adding some beauty to the backyard garden. I wanted to have more beauty back here instead of just green vegetables. This is no, it's not. It's fine, Jay. It's a bird bath. No. And also, what I seen online is that could you stop playing in that water? What I seen online is that they peck at your fruit because they're looking for hydration. They're looking for the water content that's in the fruit. So hopefully this will stop them <laughs> from messing with my fruit. So we'll see how that goes. We also bought some bird food and we have a cool bird feeder that we're going to show you guys in another video. I haven't set it up yet. All right. So on to the next task. All right, so we are on to our next test. I have six planters that I need to drill some holes in. I'm going to be using these planters this year for some of my herbs and some of my vegetables. So let's go ahead and get some drainage holes drilled in them. Is it going the right way? Yeah, <laughs> it is. <laughs> so I'm just going to put four holes in this container, maybe six because this is not the biggest drill bit and I want it to have good drainage because the potting soil that I'm using is heavy and compost so I want to make sure there's enough drainage holes so let's go ahead and get that finished All right, so now that we have our holes drilled in the containers for good drainage, we're going to go ahead and get them filled with some potting soil. So let's go ahead and take care of this task. Guys, we are moving along pretty quickly here. Pretty much use one cubic feet of soil in this container here. All right, so I'll see you guys back once I get the remainder of the containers filled. All right, we are getting these tasks taken care of today. The next task on the list is measuring out this garden bed because it is time to start planting. <laughs> so I need to figure out how much space I have that is going to let me know where I can plant. And I'm going to take some time and figure out, <clears throat> 
figure out what's going to be planted in this bed. So this is a, I believe it's called a measuring reel. Um, and it also has a ground stake. That's what I love about it. And it was very affordable. I found this online and it was much more affordable than getting <laughs> a actual tape measure, which was pretty expensive. So I went ahead and went with this option. Woo, this garden bed is 26 feet lengthwise. And let's check out the, you know what? I'm pulling it and I'm supposed to be reeling it back in. That's why it's called a tape reel. Because <laughs> you can just reel it back in. So what did I say it was? 20, 26. It's about 26. I don't have to be exact, son. Okay. And let's measure from the back. All right. And we are looking at about three and a half feet wide. So 26 by three. Okay. So let's put that back. That was an easy task. I said 26 by three and a half feet. No, earlier you said about 20 feet. I said about 26. Let's play this back. All right. So our next task is simple as well. And it is just putting the garden tools back where they belong. Guys, you see, I use this to put the mulch and I edge this garden bed and I just leave my tools out in the garden and that um, helps deteriorate them over time. So I'm going to try to remember when I finish using my garden tools to go ahead and put them back in the shed. Okay. We are creating healthy habits <laughs> this 2024, this garden season for 2024. Eventually I'm going to clean out this shed, but that's a problem for another day. All right, we are on to the next task. We are getting these garden chores done today, guys. This is real garden chores. But what I'm going to do is go ahead and remove some of these brassicas that have been eaten up by pests. I did plan on leaving the broccoli here and let it go to seed. But because they, these pests have eaten it up, I don't even want to deal with it because it's bringing on more pests like this. Come take a look, Jay. I got my gloves on so I can pick this up, <laughs> but I don't want to deal with this no more. So I'm going to go ahead and get this stuff. Uh oh, get this stuff out of the garden. But first, let's get him out of the way. So let's get these pulled up because I need this space as well. But I'm going to try to do some composting. OK, I don't really know much about composting. I really need to go watch some videos. I do know you need the greenery. You need some soil and you also need some carbon, which is like cardboard boxes, but I don't have all of that. So I'm just going to take this and dump that into this bucket for now. I, I think I can compost in it, but I, I believe I might be able to compost in it. I don't know if it needs to have a top or not. I should go watch some videos and stuff on it. Um, but let's go ahead and get the rest of this pulled up so we don't have to worry about all these garden pests anymore. Um, over here, I had broccoli in this area, and I do have some Brussels sprouts, but this was eaten. I'm only going to leave up maybe one or two of these Brussels sprouts, but the ones that has been eaten up, I'm just going to go ahead and get them in this bucket here. Uh, uh, should I leave this one or is this one? I feel like this one is starting to form some sprouts. I wonder if there's enough foliage for it to make it through. <laughs> Let's just leave that one. Look, I have hope, guys, but this one is eating up all at the top. It do have some sprouts for me, but they eating the top off of that. So I'm not going to even deal with that. And I'm just knocking some of my soil back off so I won't have to be purchasing so a lot of soil over. <laughs> We're definitely leaving that one. This is the cutest one that hasn't been eaten up too bad. <clears throat> Check this one out. <laughs> this one did not stand a chance <laughs> next to those pests. Woo! Ate it up, honey. They was good and fat over here. <sighs> and I'm going to get this one pulled. Look like this one over here got a couple aphids. That one over there have some aphids. What is this? Come uh, show them this. Guys, if you know what this is, is this aphids? 
all these little black things around it look like little eggs that is on the plant all in here i might just put this one in a plastic bag because i don't know what that is so let's go ahead and get this one pulled up and try not to shake the eggs off let's get this one put in the trash bag and then we're going to go ahead and go to this other bed and get the rest of the brassicas, brassicas pulled out of that bed. Woo! Woo! I am back. <laughs> I literally just did a video inside a video. I did a quick harvest video because that was one of my tasks today was to clear out this bed. I need to go ahead and get this bed turned over. I'm going to add some compost to it. And I had to get all of these yummy brassicas out. Guys, look at how amazing this kale harvest was. Oh, I can't wait to eat this. I'm going to cook it up put some pepper steak that pepper sauce on top oh it's gonna be so good with some onions oh i can't wait to cook this and i also was able to harvest uh, this kind of heavy kind of heavy it's tilting over okay i did go ahead and harvest some swiss chards i got a handful of swiss chard and i got two uh broccoli florets harvested on today so jj i need some help if you could go ahead and take this in the kitchen, take both of these, I have to clean this. I'll say this, y'all. <laughs> One thing about harvesting these leafy greens, you better be ready to clean them because you can't leave them over the count on the counter overnight because they will wilt and will not be good. So that's one thing I learned when coming back here. I don't harvest until I'm ready to actually clean them. <laughs> okay you don't have to cook them that day as long as you clean them prep them tie them up put them in the refrigerator they'll be good but you definitely have to get them clean that day because if you don't i don't know if anybody else experienced something different but if i don't clean them that day when i come back the next morning they are wilted and out of commission so let's go ahead and finish I do have a few brassicas um, that are left in the ground, but these that are left in the ground, I'm going to go ahead and put them in the composting pile because the pest really did a number on the ones that's left in the ground. I'm gonna put this basket over here for Jay to grab when he come back outside. Uh, I mean, like this here. Ugh. And when I pull it out of the ground, all I do, where's my, uh-oh. I was about to say, uh-oh, then lost the pruners. I'm trying to keep up with these pruners now. I'm putting it in my back pocket instead of laying it on the ground. But all I do is just tap the soil off. And then once the excess is off, I just hit the stem. These kale stems are very, very hard. They're like very woody and fibrous. And it's hard to cut them. I mean, they are thick. I don't know if y'all can hear that, but uh, there we go. It's hard to cut the stem off of them. I wanted to show you all that, but these were eating up. Oh, was something crawling on me? Ooh, what was that? Maybe it was a kale leaf that touched me. <laughs> but let me put this up. I have another basket for you, JJ. Uh, let's get this one out of the ground. This look like it's two. That go the harvest, the Swiss chard and the broccoli. Put that on the counter. This sucker, I'm gonna show you guys this. This was eaten up pretty badly. It looks like an array of beautiful foliage on camera, but it's not, it's eaten up. This is nothing but stems here, nothing but stems. So I'm not even gonna fuss with that. I'm just gonna throw that in the, the I was about to say debris bag, but I'm going to try to do some compost this year. We'll see how it goes. We'll see. I don't know if I'm going to stick with it, but we'll see. And this right here is the broccoli. I did harvest some broccoli leaves and the ones that was eaten off pretty badly. I just left it out here 
like these we're eating off. I didn't want to take that in the house and cook that. I, I wasn't even going to fuss about that. All right. Perfect. All right, let's just set this over here for now. All right. Let's get a glance at how this bed look. I'm really thinking about putting some watermelon in there and just letting the watermelon vine all in here. I'm trying to use my mind and trying to figure out what would maximize space. So I said squash and the watermelon pretty much like the same environment. They both need a lot of compost in the area as well. So I'm thinking the squash grows up while the watermelon vines on the ground. So I'm thinking that may be a good fit, but I haven't made up my mind 100%, but that's just something that I was thinking about. So let me show you guys how it looks. Hey, this is the garden bed. Let's take a look. It is clear. Oh, it's so good to see this garden bed clear. Oh, oh my goodness. Now the next task, now that it's cleared out, let's span around y'all. Let's span on around all that compost over there. I need to get that compost and put it in the bed. So that's our next garden task. Oh man, I am good and tired. You hear me good and tired. Is that got a little dirt on my face? I was able to get all of those tasks done. I cleaned the yard up. I got the kale and everything, the brassicas, all of the brassicas removed. We measured the garden beds, put the stakes in. I don't know what else I did, but I am so happy I'm done. I mean, I am done. The only thing I have um left on this list i don't know if y'all can see that but it says review uh transplants i need to figure out what transplants i have in the garden but that is another day it's going to be raining for the next two days and in between the rain i'll come out here and figure like how many peppers i have um or things like that because i don't know what i have y'all i just be getting into a little frenzy when i be seeing all these vegetables starting seeds and then going to the store and seeing transplants i just be going crazy so i actually don't know everything i have okay i've been buying stuff sitting in over here in this area <laughs> starting stuff bringing it outside sitting in this area and just leaving it there and i honest to god i don't know everything i have so I'm gonna need to do and take account on everything that I have. But that's all I have for this video. If you all stuck with me this long, I, I truly appreciate it. I really do because you don't have to turn on TV or on your phone, come on YouTube and come over to my channel. So I truly appreciate you sticking with me this far. JJ appreciates it. He's a big help for me here in the garden. Guys, spam the comments and tell JJ how good of a helper he is, okay? <laughs> spam the comment. What kind of hearts you want? What kind of uh, emoji you want down in the comments? Put a blue heart down there because he, he didn't say anything. He have on a blue sweater. So put a blue heart down there for JJ, y'all. But I appreciate you sticking with me. If you haven't subscribed already, definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can follow us along our journey in our small backyard garden, growing food, making things beautiful for us and our family. And we're working with what we have right now. So I encourage you all to do the same. Work with what you have and make your space beautiful. But that is all for today. Have a good one. Bye.